Hello and welcome back to Jules 2012, Let's Be the Arch Enemy. As you know, last week, I was rudely unseated from my throne by Benighted. So, this week, we're going to try and get that back. So, I am Chandra, flanked by Garuk and the zombies. So, hopefully this works. You know... I don't want to have to do this for too long, and this hand is awful. This hand is also awful. Okay. I'm of the mind that I can just restart the duel until I get a good hand. Mostly just because I'm the one playing, and I'm the one making the rules, so I'm the one who says what I can do. <laughs> okay, once again. Okay, I, I have creatures this time, but still, where the frig are my lands? Okay, this is not good, but hello, second attack phase. That'll be nice. Okay. Aha! Every last vestige shell brought to useless on the first turn. Ooh, and an engulfing slag worm. Nice. And you have a first turn play. Lionheart Maverick. Okay. All right. Ooh, flame blast. That'll be nice eventually. <laughs> I swear I've seen them play Ghoul Caller's Chant with no targets. You can't even play without a target, so I don't know how they did that. I've seen I've seen the AI do that kind of thing. They're so dumb. Oh, goody! I had to lighten your convulsions. Well, they went from a horrible scheme to a really really good scheme. All right. Oh, they're attacking Garrick. Okay, I'm okay with this. Especially because he's going to play a burr. A burr. He's going to play that burr. And he has an overrun in his hand, so that engulfing slagworm is eventually just going to be a 10-10 that you cannot deal with. Assuming he ever plays it. I swear, one time, I was fighting the arch enemy, who was Garuk. And I was the only one left, and we both had fields large enough that, you know, he couldn't swing at me, I couldn't swing at him. But he was slowly decking himself. And, like, he was helping himself deck himself, so it's not even like, you know... It was a, it's not even like it was a really big thing. It's just he was just slowly decking himself. And he had an overrun in hand. I know he had an overrun in hand. And he never used it. Okay, play that Death Baron. <laughs> yes. Good. Let the hate flow through you. I think I I I agree that that's a good card, but I think the Centaur Courser might have been a bit better there. All right, what's happening here? Besides horrific death, oh goody! Introductions are in order. Now they either get to search for the best creature. Yep, there's the Knight Exemplar. Oh oh boy. And Engulfing Slagworm does destroy creatures, so now that they're indestructible, that's useless. Okay. Oh, lovely. Alright. This is gonna end poorly for me. <laughs> hmm. Ooh, skin render. Skin render something, please. The love of God. Skin render that knight exemplar. Yes. 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 All right. Should have played that before playing the land, but whatever. All right. Let's continue and let's swing. <laughs> yes. Okay, there we go. Nice 8 damage swing. Now, let's do it all again. 
I'm going to leave my guy back, though. There we go. Okay, there we go. Nice, we've turned it around a bit. We're still not in a good position, and I'm probably going to die soon, but we've turned it around a bit. Also, good on you for actually skin rendering the proper thing. Oh, Behold the Power of Destruction just gets rid of Garuk's entire board state. Okay. It's okay. He's fine. He's really not. How much does Terra Stopper cost? Oh, it costs 5 for a 5 through the trample. Okay. Alright, well, let's... Hmm. Yeah, let's drop a Kiln Fiend. Alright, sweet. Nice, soulless one, very nice. The X1 cycle is actually pretty interesting because it's, uh, they're each power and toughness equals the number of creature types on the battlefield. But, oh shit, that's gonna, that's gonna be a problem. He's probably gonna block my guy with that, now that I think about it. Oh, no he's not. Okay. Ah, but that weakens the Zambos. Ah, that was a good play. <laughs> yeah, like the heedless one has trample because it's and it's the green, so it has so it's elves. Uh, I don't remember. I think I don't remember what the other ones have. I think reckless one is red for goblins and has haste. I can play flame blast next turn. I'm very tempted to just play the flame blast. I'm going to play the Flame Blast Dragon. I don't think I had like a Pyroclasm here. Hell, I don't even think the, pyro the Flame Blast Dragon is going to help me because I need one more blocker. This thing else is being played, whatever. Okay, can I... What's prevent... Oh, choose your champion. Fuck. Fuck! I can't even do anything. And of course, she's letting them through. So, here we go, I'm dead. Because if they're going to be smart, they're going to attack me. Or I'm just outright dead. Okay. So, now we just watch in horror... As the fruits of our labors are destroyed. That game we won last week? Yeah, no, we didn't win that. Mm. Have I mentioned that this deck is awful lately? Because I don't think I've mentioned enough that this deck is just awful. Yes, tap the creature that's already tapped. This is a good plan. This is a, yes, block the one that's not the first striker. Wow, you're both incredibly intelligent. Okay. Okay, Cruel Revival something. No, it doesn't even work because you don't even have a zombie. Whatever, play the Slagworm. This is why you should have left that thing in your bin. Oh, yeah, well, you hit one thing with that. Wow. Okay, that's pro green, but they're taking 16. I could, st we could still win this. It's unlikely, but we could still win this. Mostly just because Garuk still has that overrun in his hand. Okay, basically all, all Garuk has to do is overrun next turn. The Iron Guardian stirs, whatever. Please, Garuk, please. Either just draw land so you can play the Centaur Courser and overrun. Okay, who's attacking where? Two... Okay, Ghoul Keeper is down. That's fine. 
Garouk. No. Overrun. 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 Oh, damn it, Garouk! He had this. We had this in the bag. Okay, fine, fine, whatever. Play, play your dumb creatures. Fine, whatever. Die for all I care. Oh goody, tooth claw and Garouk. I want to see you after class. All right. Garouk is a dumb. We're playing again. All right. Playing against Benighted. Hopefully they get less of a bonker. No. 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 Zambos. We're going to have vamps. Vamps, not Zambos. And we're going to have Eldrizzi instead of just dumb beasts. Okay. We're going to try this again. And if I do and if I have to... Yes. Okay. I would have loved Pyroclasm or Volcanic Fallout at any point in that game. But no. No. Introductions are in order. Goody, they just get their best creature turn one. A 2-2 two, two with flanking and giving something plus one plus one. Yeah, you're you're real smarter. Hmm. Oh boy, that was a game last time. I hesitate to call it good or even bad. It, I just didn't do anything. Why wouldn't you play the one that legitimately just cannot be blocked? Why that one? That one is best saved for later. Into the Earthen Maw. Okay. Well, there goes that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. This is happening. This is our life now. <laughs> Gonna incinerate that thing. Block and I kill your thing. Good boy. The good thing is that all of Benighted's creatures are X2s. So, Volcanic Fallout is going to just destroy everything. The Coracle, very nice. Okay. I mean, Ex Explore would have done literally the same thing, except you would have gotten to pick what land you played, but whatever. Can I draw lands now? Please? Oh god, and other introductions are in order. Of course, Knight Exemplar. And of course, Knight Exemplar. Land, please. Land, please. <laughs> Block with that thing. It's already served its purpose. Or not. And before you say, oh, that thing's indestructible right now. Oh, well. Screw you then. Yes, it's indestructible right now, but the two damage would kill the Knight Exemplar and would remove the necessity of getting through the indestructible. Also, where are my land? <laughs> I'd really like some, you know. Alright. I'm okay with this plan. This is a good... This is a good... This is good what's happening here. Alright. Good. We actually have things that are happening. Why did you play Explore and not Explos... Okay, just play the other Explore then. Okay. Oh my god! That's actually hilarious. That is beautiful. Alright. So that was just... That was just ridiculous. All right. Oh, hey, my genius knows no bounds. All right, pay mana. Pay yes. Now you're dumb. Really, you're just you're just okay. Fine. All right. Can I draw a land? 
a land. Thank you. Perfect. Excellent. That's what I wanted. All right. Well, now I can't Volcanic Fallout because that would wipe everybody's board. So I guess I'm just going to play the Fiery Hellhound. Yeah, if Mind's Embrace costs 8 mana. Unfortunately, Kiora only has 7. But she is, however, 3 mana off from Kozilek, and only 2 if she plays that Explosive Veg. Which, of course, she doesn't because she decides that developing her board is more important than being able to develop her board. Oh my god, the AI in this game is awful. Oh hey, Tooth Claw and Tail. Well, at least my creatures aren't important enough to destroy. Yeah, it's just it's just a 2-2 two -two that can get infinitely large with more mana. Sure. Come on in. Why didn't you explosive vegetation? See, now you could have done that again. And I can't really do anything, so let's just swing and make my guy a 5-2. Alright. Derp, derp, derp. Okay. Banalish Knight. Okay. He's going to block my 5-2, because, yeah, that's the smart thing to do. Alright. Fine, whatever. Kiora, thank thank you for doing the smart thing for once in your entire dumb fucking life. All right. Choose your champion. Of course, Soren's gonna choose himself, so I won't even be able to wipe their boards next turn. <sighs> oh, goody, Marshall's anthem. So now my my pyroclasm's worthless. I know it's not actually Pyroclasm, but shut up. Oh, goody, and he got back the Knight Exemplar. Hmm. Oh, good, well, at least I get to Chandra's Fury something next turn. Alright. Well, we're dead. We are very, very dead, but not entirely dead, so... Chandra's Fury, there. Right there. Boom. Ah, that's an instant. Hmm. Your fate is thrice sealed. Oh, okay. So... Oh, that's lovely. Actually, I could... Oh, boy. I, if, if I had done Volcanic Fallout, that would have... I could have actually... But no. Okay, here I am. I'm dead again. But Kiora has an Eldrazi in hand. So if she can win this, you know. Don't play the title Kraken. Oh, God, don't play the title Kraken. Please, please don't play the title Kraken. Please. Yep. Yeah, yeah, Yavamai's grasp something. Please, Kiora, I'm begging you, be smart. No! 6-6 six, six unblockable, yes, it's nice, but no! Oh, oh. The pieces are coming together, too, so he can just keep playing whatever the hell he wants. I mean, their life totals are pretty good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Sangromancer, give the answer. Okay. All right. You want to Yavimaya's embrace something, Kiora. Or if you draw land, just play fucking Kozilek. Or Aether Mutation. Yes. Yes, Coiling Oracle and Aether Mutation. That's a good play. Uh, just do something smart for once, Kiora. Explosive vegetation. You want... Hmm. Look, keep the pressure on. You want to keep the pressure on. Why are you swinging with your Coiling Oracle? You're dumb. 
Whatever. Okay, Yavimai has embraced something. Aether Mutation. Coiling Oracle. It doesn't matter. Just do something, Kiora. Okay, Soren's done. You can do things now. Oh my god, Kiora. I swear to god, I will slap you in your stupid fish face. Oh good, she's actually taking control of something. Oh, and it's the fi it's the flyer! Good! Good, you're actually doing smart things! Oh, goody! Alright, alright, he's, he's getting land, that's fine. Uh, can take, she, they can take it down to five this turn. I own his judgment. Alright. And I think Kiora is actually just dead. Yep, that's 16 damage coming right out her face. Well, it was a nice try while it lasted. Soren is not winning this game, no. Well, there's a Vampire Nighthawk, but that's still worthless. Yep, no. Soren is at no land. They're at all the land. And they have an army of first strikers. We're dead. All right, game three. Let's try to win something. Chandra. Eldrazi. Uh, fucking dragons, I guess. Against Benighted. Let's see if fucking dragons can do this. All right. Yes, okay, good. Flame Rift is not good in this in this instance, but whatever. All right. The worst part is, is that Kiora could have easily dropped M uh, Kozilek at any point there if she'd just been smarter about it. That's the problem, is that they prioritize... What I've found about these guys is that they prioritize creature spells over anything else, even if it's a better spell to cast. It's like, hmm... Should I cast this giant octopus? No, oh, goody, introductions are in order. Sure, just... Okay, whatever. The Flash First Striker, that's whatever. I can Volcanic Hammer that thing. I can Flame Slash it. I don't care. Banalish Cavalry. That's fine. It's whatever. Kiln Fiend. Is that they will always, always, always prioritize creature spells over literally anything else. It's like, hmm, should I play this Piker, or should I play this spell that destroys all my opponent's creatures and leaves me and leaves mine completely untouched? I'm gonna play the Piker. Meanwhile, all the opponent's creatures have first strike, and so the Piker is utterly worthless, except it's a chumper, so you know, do the math there. And of course, your Idolite and your Convulsions just to completely offset the life balance. Da 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 da. Yep. Yeah. Flame Rift is good in as the commander. But it's awful when you're against the commander. Or arch enemy, not commander. Sorry. I played multiple magic formats. Hmm. Tim. Nice. Don't ask why it's called Tim. I don't know. Um. I just want to get rid of their board state, so. Yeah. Let's just let's just completely clear their board state. Oh, he could have assassinated it. Oh well. Play that Ruby Medallion. Oh no, right, no, that totally was a smart play, because then that thing's a 7-2. Right. Okay. We're do we're doing this. We're doing this, we're doing this. We're gonna end this uh ma match like we did last week. Not very much ahead. Undo Giant. That's actually a smart play. I'm not going to fault you for that one. The Iron Guardian stirs. Just get a 4 6. Alright. Cloud Crusader. Whatever. Alright, let's play Tim. Can you play the Volcanic Dragon? No, you can't. You're one mana off. But you should totally play that Crucible of Fire. Uh, 
I'm not going to attack into that thing. Are you nuts? Oh. Manic Vandals just... Why didn't you do that the fir in the first main phase? Whatever. Fine. It's not like I expect intelligence, but it'd be nice sometimes. <laughs> you know? Intelligence is, is good occasionally. Also, Crucible of Fire would have been really good next turn with your f hasty 4-4. Four four. Oh, hey, I get to choose my champion. Um, I'm actually going to choose Sarkhan for this one. Mostly because he can play that hasty dragon. And an Aliborn Cavalier, whatever. Also partly because I can, I, a lot of my spells are in instant speed, so, you know, they're good. And I'm going to do this to players and start pinging you. Yep, there we go. And ideally, they're going to block the Cloud Crusader. Or not. Ooh, right. And Cure can do that, too, and just put down the Isleback spawn. And then on his turn, I just incinerate that thing. All right, then. This is actually getting out to be a very productive game. Hopefully. Hopefully it can stay that way. That Isleback spawn is worthless and should be taken out of your deck immediately. Smiting the monstrous there, whatever. And then you also have... Introductions are in order. Wait, you just put that from... Your... From your... From your... Okay, the computer definitely fucking cheats then. Because... He didn't pay mana for that, and it went... Straight from his library into bat into play. Yeah, what what the hell? The computer cheats. Like I get it, I'm playing on the hardest difficulty, but this, still, the computer should not be fucking cheating. All right, um, I guess we're just gonna volcanic fallout here. All right. Just because I can, mostly. Okay, Kiora, you want to play the Coiling Oracle, then you want to play Titings. Or you want to be dumb and not use your mana efficiently. That's fine, too. No, Kiora, do not play the Giant Octopus next turn. Drawing four cards is better than a three... It's better than a fucking hill giant. Mm. I swear, they want me to slap them. Kinsbale Cavalier. Oh, goody. All of their knights now have fucking double strike. But, Sarkin can just get rid of that thing. Okay. Going to Lava Axe to the face. Oh, good. She's actually being smart here. All right. Don't see why you didn't direct that at the face and use disfigure on that, but whatever. Fine. Be dumb. Like, that could have done four damage to their face. Also, why didn't you explore first? You could have still cast that whatever <sighs> okay we're just gonna I don't know the pieces are coming together wow okay Ugh. these games hurt wow really you have no creatures to play okay fine lava axe your fucking face Yeah, see, Kiora, you could have played a, you could have played Kozilek this turn, 
Even demons know to play Kozilek. Because Kozilek is just fucking ridiculous. And Lorthos. Okay, I guess an 8-8 is, is almost better than drawing four cards. But no, no it really isn't. Okay, so you have two Banalish Knights in there. That's your big ace in the hole play. Two flash first strikes. Okay. Oh, this figure's an instant. Okay. Well, so is ball fucking lightning. Right? Yeah, or burst lightning. And even if... Wow. Wow, you're dumb. I guess you were dead either way, but still, wow. Okay, everybody here is dumb, and I'm apparently... Reach the same point that I was at last week, which is one victory. So, come back next week when we will smash face with Chandra and win a game with Chandra. And that's all I'm prepared to say on the matter. I hate teammates sometimes. They're so dumb. But, yes... Goodbye, and thank you for watching.